there? Could you help us out, Cully? What'd you go and do that for? Oh, yes. I remember. Some clod turned me into a tree. You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's Bok. I was pushed out of the cave. Told not to come back. Not ever. Then I ended up as a tree. Lucky you came along, really. Oh, what a shame. When they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned. And so this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope you can forgive me. Or, or if you can afford to wait for a while, I could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. Then I'd be of some real use to you, I reckon. Right. But I'll need a moment. I'm... I'm frightened of them. So I have to gather myself. My knees start knocking, just thinking about that god-awful cave on the shore. seamstress and that sewing kit was all I had to remember her by I always wanted to be just like sweet old mum then I s suppose I I can't just curl up and die can I thank you you're very kind I always wanted to be a seamstress like like my mum then I suppose I I can't just curl up and die, can I? the demi-human. You helped me before, and retrieved my sewing needle. Please, Master, allow me to serve you as your seamster. I can't make nothing from scratch, but I'm happy to make adjustments to your garments. Master, I was wondering, do you ever make adjustments to your garb yourself? I would, well, rather you let me do the job when possible, please. I don't ask anything in return, you know, and, well, I am your personal seamster after all. Oh, going so soon? Uh, please do be safe on your journeys. <laughs> <laughs> 